Hi everybody, it's Timmy with Ivy Corrine Bath and Body. Um, we're here again making another soap. This is number two for our evening. Not sure that they'll get published in the same day, but we'll see how fast YouTube is running. So we are adding in our lye, and this has um, bamboo silk in it. So because of that I strain it to make sure we get any uh, silk that didn't dissolve all the way. And we use the bamboo silk so that we stay vegan. Um, not that I am a personal vegan, but we like to keep our soaps vegan. Um, but we are able to use a silk in it without, you know, doing the, the silkworm silk. Okay, so we press it up. Let's see, this is what's left of it afterwards. Looks lovely. I've heard you could do the same thing with like uh, the silks from corn. Like do corn silk. And uh, I've never tried that one personally, but I like the bamboo silk. I like what it does to the soap. It feels really nice. And it's a little thick, my lye solution, because we have um, we have only half the water in there, and the other half is going to be in rice milk. I have some Tussa silk. Um, I do not know if I'm saying that right. Um, but I have some of that silk that I got as a sample when I ordered my bamboo silk. And so um, I plan on still using that, but I'm going to put it in the goat's milk soap since that's not vegan anyway. And that way, um, it's not nothing's vegan in there, so it won't won't hurt the that point of it. Oh, I can't talk tonight. It must be getting late. Let's see. Yeah, 1:30. So, <laughs> all right. So this is just uh, it's thickening up like this because there's not enough water in it. So we're gonna go ahead and add in the rice milk. And I still have two more soaps to go for the night, so if all of them end up with videos, those should be fun to watch or embarrassing for me. Whatever. My embarrassment is your enjoyment, right? Alright. So this always heats it up, the rice milk. But our milks are cold. I, like I had, uh, I had that. It just came out of the fridge, so it was nice and cold. And then all of this was pretty chill. It's just heating up now. But it was um, the whole mixture was pretty chill. I think it was my oils were at about 75, and my lye was I think around 80. So not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna scrape this down. Make sure we got it all incorporated. And I got a neat little idea for this swirl, but we'll have to see how it behaves to see if I can do what I want to do. Um, I have an idea to do a wire swirl or a hanger swirl. I should say. So, if it stays, it, it can't stay too liquidy, but it can't get too thick. One of those delicate procedures, you need exactly what you need. It doesn't always work out. So we may have to just go with the flow here. So, uh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and add in my fragrance. Because I'll blend that in and then I'll, because like I said, it can get a little thicker. So, and again, um, use some vanilla stabilizer in here. That's why we got to stir it around. Um, but that really does help with the browning. Not on all soaps. So if you get some fragrances, but I like the the one I like the best for cold process is from uh, Crafter's Choice. So if you want to try it, that's the one I use. It's kind of pricey, but that's why I don't use it all the time. But on some of it, like this one's going to be uh, pink and white and uh, peach the colors because it's a passion fruit nectarine so with that now I don't know what I'm gonna call it because I smell a lot more nectarine in here than I do passion fruit so 
we'll see what it ends up developing into once we get the oh, I'm sorry I've got about five things on my mind right now that I'm thinking about but we'll see how it goes once it's cured because sometimes you'll get more like maybe you'll smell more nectarine or maybe it'll turn into a peach or whatever so I usually don't name them until they're cured unless I've obviously already tested them before and then I know what to expect I don't like to go off of just what the the manufacturer lists in the description so all right got a little piece of a it's like a piece of a label from one of my bottles maybe well done okay so we are going to take out um some for the star. I got some stuff on my arm. I've been doing that a lot lately. We're going to take out some for pink. We're not doing a whole heck of a lot. We'll do some in pink and then some in orange. Probably about the same amount. Or not orange, peach. About the same in peach. And then the rest of this is going to stay white. See, I never know if I've actually got soap on my arm or if I'm just, my skin has been really dry. The winter in Chicago here has been just evil, as it's been all over. But it's just not, it's not liking me right now. And it is not liking my skin. And I have been lazy about putting on lotion, so that just makes it worse. But normally my skin's fine. It's just this winter, it's just been so cold. It seems like it sucks the moisture right out of your skin. So I'm going to get this hurried along because it's starting to get a little thicker. It's getting warm too. So This is our titanium dioxide. I'll throw that in there and buzz that in. A white white but more of a creamy white and that's actually what I want. I only want a really bright white. Okay so that's our first one. Apparently I still had some oil on the bottom. I want to show you. If you see in there the little lines inside of there that's um, oil. It was probably stuck to the bottom of the pot. So that's why I always use a spatula to make sure that everything gets well incorporated. It also could have been some soap that didn't get the titanium dioxide in the beginning. When I whizzed it in, it could have been soap that was still up on the sides here. It's always a good idea to mix it in with a spatula after you stick blend in your titanium dioxide. I think it really does help with the crackle effect to make sure that you get it all fully incorporated and then just make sure it doesn't overheat because that's what else causes crackling. Or in my experience anyway. I know some other people say some, some other things but for me it seems like if they overheat I crackle. Okay, so the white is mixed and scented and it smells yummy. This is actually one of the first fragrances I ever bought when I started soaping. Ooh, that was almost a mess. Um, but yeah, can you get, you don't, nope, I took some out, I'm sorry. Um, but it's one of the first uh, fragrances I ever purchased. And I loved it so much, and I've never made soap out of it. We made scrubs, and we've made other things, but I never made soap. And so I got another one, and uh, my hubby loves this one too. Which is kind of weird for him, because he's not a big uh, fruity scent type of guy. I wouldn't use it for myself, but it's, you'll smell good. Oh, I can smell good with it? Yeah, okay. I don't want to smell like fruits. <laughs> Yet he's using cucumber melon soap in the shower right now. Folks. No, I used all that. 
Oh, it's gone. But he was a now few I'm days using ago. Watermelon. <laughs> oh, now you're using watermelon. <laughs> At least he smells good. Whatever. Hey, that's what was in there. That's the problem when you have a wife and four daughters. You don't get much choice about what, you know, soaps you get in the shower. There's like cupcake soaps lining my shower and, you know, every every soap that I've ever made that was pink is in the shower. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, I have my soap in there once or twice. Yeah, once in a while I give him a piece of soap. You know when I drop it on the floor and I dent it, then he can have it. <laughs> I have one of the camel soaps. Did you have a camel soap? No, I lied. Yeah. I had one of the uh, the black and was supposed to be red, turned purple. Oh yeah. The bay the, rum. Yeah, the spiced rum one. Mhm. Mm yeah, that one smells really good. That one, I I don't think I got that online yet. Get on that. That's awesome soap. Okay, I, I'll do that while I'm homeschooling our children and uh, you're at work all day. Yeah. With not helping me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's my pink color. I'm just going to go with that. Um, these are my new micas from the conservatory, so I don't know what any of them do quite yet, but I'm excited to try them. I've been wanting to order from them for so long. And you know what stopped me? It's because every time I go on there, you have to place at least a $50 order. And I was like, oh, I don't really want anything that's $50. Because I wanted to sample a bunch of stuff. And then I, I was like, you know what? I Some of these were already tested. So I know some of them are going to work. So I might as well try them, right? And so I finally, like, because I pay, you pay so much more for your micas when you order them, you know, from just soap supply companies. Not that those are bad. Like, I love the ones from Bramblebury. I love my colorants from there. I get, you know, some colorants from Wholesale Supplies, but they are very expensive on colorants. Um, but on some of the stuff, I mean, it's obviously, you just got to price your stuff out. But I get colorants from there, and I love them. But this is just so much more affordable, and I love working with micas because you don't actually have to stick blend. When we at? About 100, 110? 103? Oh, that's not bad. See, I keep an eye on my temperatures because if it gets too hot, I know it's going to set up real fast. So, and milk soaps will do that to you. Plus, I don't want to scorch the milk, but it's at 103 right now, so we should be okay. You want to keep stirring that, though, because it was getting thicker on me. So, this is my peach, and I think this will stay more of a peach color. Ooh, it's looking really bright orange on there. It's not. It's more of a light orange right now, and this was... Um, it's a mix of a couple micas. Uh, I know I use Peach Sunset or something like that as one of the base ones, and then there's a couple other colors in there. But I think it will, when you use micas, sometimes they kind of, the color doesn't stay so vibrant. So I overcolored it a little, and this one I actually want it to go down a little bit from this, so I think those are perfect. But anyhow, and this is uh, Ruby Rose, that one. So just in case you want to pick up some for yourself. Those are some fun colors. All right, I'm going to... It smells amazing. I know. All right, so we're going to start with actually putting in some white. It's going to be my first color. is just kind of gonna sit here you don't have to I don't want it to thicken up too much it doesn't seem like it's getting too bad but just keep an eye on it I still like trees yeah and I have a spoon here I have an idea I don't know if it's gonna work we're gonna try I'm hoping I don't know might be too thin to even do this yet. Yeah, it's going in a little bit. But I think it'll be okay. I don't care if it goes down a little bit. I just don't want to like, drop it in there. Make it to lay on the top if possible. So, And by the time we get to the top, it should have 
solidified up a little bit more. Sorry, this is boring. If you don't want to watch it, I understand if you fast forward. I won't judge you. You miss a nugget of knowledge. A nugget of knowledge. <laughs> I'll say something interesting for people. Did the fast forward? <laughs> something interesting. Let's see. Mm. I just got my hair cut. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> my husband doesn't like it. I cried though. I went to go, me and my daughters all, we, our hair grows like weeds. So um, we went over to a lady who cut two of my daughter's hair that are younger. She did a great job and we all donated our hair to Locks for Love. So we went back to her to get me and my older daughter's hair done because there's too many of us for me to pay for it in one shot. So. We kind of separated it out, and uh, she did my daughter's hair, and my daughter was kind of freaking out, because she has, her hair was down to right at her waist, I guess, um, maybe a little longer, and she's had long hair for a very long time, so she was kind of freaking out that we were going to cut it too short, so I stayed right next to that lady the entire time and made sure she didn't cut her hair too short, you know, I told her, I said, my daughter, she just doesn't want to have short hair so make sure you leave it long and she did a great job on her hair and then I told her I said and now my husband doesn't like me with short hair so you need to leave it long and she goes oh yeah yeah of course she goes I, I know my husband never wanted me with short hair either now this woman has her hair chopped to her neck so I don't know what she's talking about <laughs> whatever um, so she she tells me she's gonna leave it long and then she went into cut my hair and when she cut off the first part like to, for the donation it felt kind of short to me because I had told her take off the minimum of 10 inches you know and she's like oh okay well when I got home and I measured it she actually cut off 17 inches <laughs> in that first whack um, so yeah it was quite short when it started mine was at a little bit below my waist um, it needed to be cut I haven't had it done in about a year so um, because I always donate my hair when it gets that long. Uh, so she cut my hair, and then by the time she was done, it was up by my shoulders. Well, then it, my, I have a really natural big-time wave in my hair. So <laughs> when it dried, it was just kind of like, it looked like flat on the top and poofy <laughs> around my shoulders. And I got home, and I'm like, okay, the whole way home, I literally got in the car and I felt like I was having a heart attack like my back all tensed up and everything I was like oh my god oh what's wrong with me I, I must have been like majorly stressed out so I got home and I called my husband and I started bawling on the phone because I did not want him to yell at me and he was like no it's okay it'll grow back don't worry so sweet and uh, so then I straightened it before he got home and it's fine it looks very nice actually I like it I don't know, is it growing on you yet? No. No. But you are, so. Oh, see? So nice. So, yeah. It's it's not what I, I love, but it will do for now. And you know what? I'm 30-something. 30 32. Is that right? 32? I don't know. I quit counting 19. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so yeah, I'm 32. And uh, I guess it's time to stop having the Rapunzel hair. So, and with the four kids, it really is a pain in the butt to take care of anyway. So, that will work for me for now. I will grow it out some because it is a little short for my taste, but I probably will not go back to the... No, I'm not going that long again. That's, that's insane. Yeah, this is the man who was telling me I should go waist length again, and yet he shaves his head. So, just saying. I got long hair. Just on your face. He's got a beard. I don't know if you can constitute that as long hair. That's just face hair. No, no, stop it. Stop, stop looking at me. Alright, so we're going to tap this down. Alright, and then we're going to do white. So, like I said, this is going to take a while. Oh, this shouldn't be bad because this is getting thicker. She ha lovely, lovely, lovely. So we're going to go ahead and put another layer of white, and then one more pink, and then one more white. And then we'll hang our swirl, and then we'll do the orange. So, like I said, if you're getting bored, you have my permission. You may fast forward. 
but I don't have the software at the moment to fast forward my videos so they're gonna be full length I'm sorry I know it's tragic but it is life mm. oh it's fine it's gotta be thick because it's gotta sit on top of all this anyway it's a little thicker Pudding. About the same as that. Yeah. I really like this fragrance. I don't know why we waited so long to use this in soap. It smells really good. We're busy making everything else. Yeah. So we'll be doing um, one of the other videos that I'll be having shortly. It's actually one of the ones I'm going to be working on tonight. Hopefully, I'll get it posted soon. Is um, I bought first. I bought a ton of samples. Um, from Sopalooza, just little tiny vials. Like it's not, it's like a milliliter of fragrance. But as much as I love everybody else saying, "Oh, this worked great" or whatever, I don't trust it. And I gotta use it for myself. Oh, yeah. We'll put it in the camera so they can see. I'm busy. Yeah, little tiny. Um, it's like a milliliter of fragrance. So, but so I want to test them. And so I'm gonna do a big. I have 35 different ones. And so we're gonna test them all at one time and so I'm gonna have that video out there if you're interested and then I'm also going to do I got a bunch of one ounce samples from nature's garden now those will actually I'm gonna make one of those tonight and that's actually going to take me some time because I it'll make a two pound it'll make two pounds worth of soap but I only have one two pound mold you know if it wasn't freezing my husband could make me another one but right now it's just not something we can do so um, I'm going to be. Nice yeah, well, what's your problem? Why don't you get out there and do that? <laughs> Four inches of mud and six inches of snow. Yeah, I know. We don't have a garage, so we have to just do it in the backyard. Um, so, anyway, but I'll be doing, I think I have 14, 15, 16, something like that, of the ones from Nature's Garden. So, those I will do after. Um, I'm going to do one of them tonight, and then I'll just keep doing them. And those ones I'll actually be selling the bars of soap. And the reason we're doing those tests is more to see what our customers are looking for. Because I would rather do a two pound loaf of soap, soap and see how it sells than to do a five pound or ten pounds of that soap and it's not a good seller for us. So that's what we're going to do is we're just going to start doing the little two pound loaves at first see if it sells and if it does then we'll go ahead and crank it up to the five pound and that'll be one of the ones we add to our line I got quite a few remakes coming up in the future because uh, we over Christmas we sold out of quite a few of the our soaps one of some of our more popular ones so we got to get on that too I'm not done I'm not done even a little bit I gotta do pink again and then white again. I told them it's gonna be a long time. These people who are still watching are very patient and I love them so much. <laughs> okay, so we're just cleaning up the sides here. And then we're gonna tap it down. Now this should go faster. Because our soap. Oh, I hate that. Did no, no, it's okay. I'll just wipe it off. Yeah, I got this. I, I stuck my spoon right in the soap. That was gross. All right. So, um, but this one should go faster because it's much, much thicker than the first couple layers here. Come on. I'm southern right now. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Must have been watching too much Duck Dynasty. It's all their fault. That's what I'm blaming it on. Alright. They don't even have accents. I know they don't have accents. But I had to blame it on something. And for all you people who heard me say that it is uh yeah. Now two o'clock in the morning. Um, don't judge me that my children are still awake. It's Saturday. And like I said, I homeschool. We live on a different schedule than most normal people. My hubby works until around 11, 12 every night. 
so we don't do normal days. My kids still get their good 8-10 hours of sleep. The baby gets closer to 11. Um, and they are very happy and healthy. But we just live on a different time frame. Because I grew up without my without ever seeing my dad really because he worked those kind of hours sometimes even worse one two three in the morning so I didn't see my dad except for the weekend on Sunday was the only day he didn't work and uh, I hated that and I don't want my kids to have the same issue and since I can control it because I don't have to be up at any certain hour for to go to an actual school we just have a different schedule they still do school the same time every day um, we just live on different hours so and I'm, ho I'm hoping soon we can get his hours knocked down to something else so that we can go back to normal hours. And my sister will call me, hey, we're going to go to lunch. And I'm like, yeah, my kids are just getting up. You're going to have to give me an hour. <laughs> I get up around, we go to bed around 2, 3. It's their bedtime now, but I'm not going to have them go to bed until I'm done with this one. Um, but we go to bed. I try to get them in bed by midnight one at the latest but it's the weekend so it's okay um but i go to bed usually around two or three and then get up and around nine to uh make my husband's lunch and i read my bible in the morning and then if the kids still aren't up I try to fit in some yoga good for my back and my nerves <laughs> trying to do yoga with four small children in your house it's just ridiculous you are not the karate kid and you should stop making that pose I'm sorry you had to hear that stop it <laughs> what are you doing if something goes pop and I gotta go pick you up off the floor just know I'm not going to do it until after I'm done with myself. Well, honey, there's no way you can pick me up off the floor. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Get a forklift, maybe? I'll call my daddy. Daddy, daddy yeah. I need the forklift. Oh, I thought you meant for him to pick me up. No, not for him to pick you up. He'd bring the forklift over. Hmm? I said he couldn't do it either. Hey, you're looking at 200 pounds of salad I have muscle. eight brothers. I could call all of them. And they can all come over and call friends, and then they can. <laughs> it's not that bad. Like I said, it's 200 pounds of solid muscle. 200 pounds of solid muscle, I'm protected. sure. It is. It's solid muscle. That's it's hot protected. stuff. It, oh, it's protected. We've got that Chicago padding, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's cold winters here, folks. we got to pad a little bit, you know. I don't want to freeze to death or anything. Oh, that sounded fun. Okay, last one. Stir this around. So my helper is slacking. Let's check him on the kids. No, oh, slacker. Watch him lay on the floor and cry. <laughs> We're not bad parents. We're really good parents. We just don't get our sense of humor at all. I don't know if she is. She's tired. Don't call her names. <laughs> I didn't call her name. I said she's tired. Oh. I think we got a bottle for her. No, she didn't come over. I thought there was one still in the living room. A bottle. She drank it. Mm. Okay. You want me to give her another one or no? Yeah, that's fine. Ask her if she wants milk or juice. She hasn't had juice all day, that's why. Hey, no, Baba. Sorry, you're going to hear part of our bedtime routine now. Because we got one crabby one year old. She's ready for Betty. Sorry, I shouldn't talk like that. That's how I talk around my family, and no one needs to hear that. <laughs> Half done, half done.
Just the other side, guys. Almost there. We'll do a happy dance when we're done. I'm hoping this turns out awesome. This is a lot of work for it to turn out badly. <laughs> Decided on that little oh. Well, you need to get on that, Dad. <laughs> Did you say close the door? <laughs> We, we do not have a door on their bedroom uh, for uh, space. space reasons because the door opened into their room and we needed the room that it uh, that it opened into. So we uh, we told them uh, we took the door off and he just went up to her and said, "Close the door." And she goes, "I ain't got no door." falling apart that was a solid wood door that was like one of the that was better than the front door when we bought this house remember the front door to our, our house when we bought it was like an interior door like for an apartment building <laughs> on the outside of our house this was a fixer up and a half and we fixed it up well it's a very nice house now it's just too small for us so hopefully we'll be moving soon it's gonna want to fit three or four more kids in here <laughs> i'm gonna be the old lady who lived in the shoe that shoe is mine and it's going in the backyard. <laughs> Alright, so we now have our layers on. So I have enough white in here to do the top like I want it. So if you want to take this and kind of scrape it all down into one yeah. area. I know so can you use that? Thank you. Thank you very much. Cool. Okay, so. I'm going to tap this down on the floor. Hold on one second. Okay. Now I'm going to do... Hmm. How am I going to get the hanger? Where did my hanger go? I brought it over here. Oh, you moved my stuff. I had it set up. It was all ready. So, uh, excuse me if my arm's in here, but i got to get on the side of it to do this properly. So I'm just dropping it down and then coming up just a little ways away. And go back down over just a little. And back up. And just repeat. Getting tired there, little one? No, I'm just smelling. Oh, you're just smelling? Yeah, it smells really good. Oh. Yeah, that does smell good. I can smell it in here. Yeah, it does smell good. They're excited. They're excited because I made good smelling soap. Yeah, well, you call that Saturday. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. All right, so again, I've got to tap it down to make sure when we were putting the hanger through. Now when you do a hanger squirrel, you, squirrel. <laughs> when you stick a squirrel in your soap and it runs around, it'll create a neat little squirrel. Don't do that. Okay, so when you put your hanger down, you can go down and up and down and up like that, like I just did. And then you can go back and forth to get a different kind of squirrel. I'm trying to get something cool here. So I just went up and down. I didn't go back and forth, but you can. That's another way to do a hanger squirrel. So this is what we got so far. I'm going to tap it down again. All right. Now the last part here, we're going to clean up the sides and then we're going to stick the orange on top and just swirl the top up a little and then we will be done. And you can get rid of this video and you don't have to watch it again. Unless we're entertaining, then by all means watch it over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and since I won't bother you by saying at the end of the video that if you want to see more, you should subscribe, I'll just tell you now. Can I have a spoon, please? So, if you would like to see more of our videos, make sure you subscribe. It's a little red button right under this video. Unless you've got it maximize the screen, then unmaximize the screen, and there will be a little red subscribe button. Go ahead and click that, and every time we make a new video, you'll know about it. And you do not want to miss this stuff. You can also find out about our sales and hear stuff about our family when I feel like it. <laughs> um, but we do, we put up different stuff on our Facebook page. So that's at, um, I think the link is in there in my links. But in case it's not, it's uh, www.facebook.com slash Ivy Corrine. It's I-V-Y-C-O-R-E-E-N. And that's how you find us. No, we're not a dot com. <laughs> well, actually, if you go to ivycoreen.com, then you can find our uh, our Etsy store. So you can do that, too, to buy all the awesome soaps. This one will probably be ready sometime in late February, early March. But it probably won't be on the page because I will be on vacation. Yes, that's right. I am going on vacation. And if my children are nice, I will take them with. And if my husband is nice, I might send him a postcard. Hey, if I'm <laughs> home alone, I'll have another vacation. <laughs> oh, rude. Hi. Hi. You better now? You got juice? The gang's all here, folks. They're all in the kitchen staring at me. It's quite awkward. I know you do. And I like people staring at me. No, you don't. You're right, I don't. Stop it. That's creepy. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> You're all creepy. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to just scrape the rest of this orange on top now. So we know we're not going to break through. Got a nice thick layer of orange. See, now I could have paused the video and then I could have done this while it was paused and waited for it to thicken up and it would have gone so much faster. But then you would have missed all my charming babble. And I know you don't want to miss that because that's half the fun of watching this, right? Don't shake your head, no, they love me. <laughs> no, sorry guys, I know this is a long one try to fill it with a little chatter so it's not just that really awkward silence and the slishing and sloshing of my spatulas. So hopefully this was somewhat entertaining. I need a skewer, I just remembered. Um, but anyway, thank you for sticking with us to the end of this. And if you fast forwarded, we still love you. Because we know there's not a lot of time in the day. You ain't got a lot of time to sit and watch this. This is probably going to be a good 30-45 minute video. So, tapping down, be right back. Alright, there's that. Where's my weight? Oop. Yeah, thank you. Alright, last point here. This will not really have a texture top, just more of a nifty little design. Oops, sorry. Move the camera. She's alright. They already know she's here. We can't hide it. It's like living in Munchkin Land. Last little bit here, Put it there and there. Yeah. One.
one more tap down, guys. You gotta bear with me. I'm almost done. It'll be so spectacular when we cut it. Hope I remember to post the video of that. No, I'm just kidding. I will. I promise. One more tap. It's like tap out. All right, and then are we in there? There we are. And then we are just going to do a figure eight. guys there it is see isn't that awesome weren't you so excited to stay to the end to see it look like that so I will clean it up after I let you go but there you go this is a passion fruit nectarine it smells more nectarine to me right now so we'll see what it's actually called but there it is I hope you liked it and thanks for staying with us and don't forget to subscribe see I threw it in there anyway okay we'll talk to you later guys bye